With the fretboard now glued to the neck, I did some shaping with the electric file to get it flush. I also used it to round over the fret slightly to make the neck more comfortable to play. Then I sanded with my random orbit sander. I did a bit more shaping of the frets with a file to round them over and kept checking with my fingers to make sure I was filing off any sharp edges. I wanted to make some fret markers for the side of the neck and I came up with the idea of using toothpicks to make the small dots. I found a drill bit which looked to be the same size and then made an indent with an ice pick where the fret markers should be, finding the centre by eye. Then I drilled the holes in the side of the fretboard, added some wood glue and then gently hit them in with a mallet. I could then cut off the excess with a flush cut saw and clean off any excess glue. After a couple of hours I could sand them flush. At this point I added a little boiled linseed oil to the neck and the fretboard just to get some moisture on the wood and pop the grain. Once I had applied it, I wiped off any excess with a dry cloth. To level all of the frets, I stuck some 240 grit paper to a block of MDF with some double sided tape. I marked up the top of each fret with a sharpie so that I could check where I was removing material with the sanding block. I used that sanding block to sand the edges of the frets too. Once all of the sharpie had been removed, I knew that the frets would be level. That was the neck pretty much finished. I had originally intended to use spruce for the body. This was just some two inch thick construction timber I bought from Gumtree. I selected the sections with the best tight grain and cut those sections out on the mitre saw. I planned to use the edges of each board and not the middle part where all of the knots were. So I ripped the pieces I wanted to use on the table saw, jointed and thickness planed them and glued them together. Then I hand planed each face to get them straight. So I've now decided on a body shape for the electric guitar. It's loosely based on this design, which is the Charvel Surfcaster, which is a guitar that I actually used to own. But the pickups on it were pretty poor, so I ended up parting with it. But I was always really keen on the body shape of the guitar and the way that it looked. So I used SketchUp to draw a series of curves and came up with this. I've drawn a line down the centre of the template which will enable me to line up the template with the centre of the guitar blank. And I'm just going to use Pritt Stick to attach the template to the blank. I cut this shape out on the bandsaw. So I'm a little bit concerned at this point about the weight of this spruce body blank. It's a lot lighter than I'd anticipated it to be. And I'm a bit concerned that by the time I attach the oak neck that it might be a bit neck heavy. I think I am still going to use it though because the neck is going to bolt onto the body anyway, so if it doesn't work out, I can always make another body at a later date and bolt on the neck to the new body. Um, and if anything, if this doesn't work out, I can still use it as a bit of a dummy run to try routing out the cavity for the neck and the pickup holes and where the controls will go. So I'm gonna run with it for now, but it might be replaced. 
Then I sanded down the body. Next I wanted to make a template for the neck cavity using a piece of scrap plywood. I marked the shape of the neck onto a piece of plywood and then cut it out on the bandsaw trying to stay inside the lines I'd drawn. This template would guide the template cut a bit for my router. I used it to drill out and then route out the cavity for the neck to fit into. But then this happened. So I mentioned earlier in the project that I was concerned about the weight of this body. Um, I've decided now that I'm actually not going to even attempt to use it because somebody has kindly donated me this massive slab of oak. It's uh, still got bark on the edge, it's very heavy, it measures just over two inches thick and it's got quite a bow in it. You can see there it's not straight at all. So I need to figure out how to flatten this and get it to the right thickness. I started by ripping the piece of oak to 250mm on the table saw, making multiple passes as my cheap blade was really struggling with the oak and leaving a lot of burn marks. I'll definitely be investing in a higher quality blade soon. The reason I cut it to 250mm wide was because that was roughly the maximum width that my jointer can handle. It took a lot of passes on the jointer to get this piece flat, as there was a low point in the centre, but eventually I got there. Then I jointed one of the edges. Then I could run it through the thicknesser, and it really struggled with this piece of solid oak because it's so hard. I probably should have waxed the planer bed prior to doing this too, I just kept making several light passes until I got it to where it needed to be. Then I could use the old body as a template to mark up the shape for the new body. And I marked up the centre reference points too. And it worked out that I had just enough to get the whole body out of this one piece of oak. I made a few adjustments to the body shape at this point just to make it slightly bigger as the original body I had seemed a little bit small. I basically just added about 10mm around the outside edge with a pencil by eye. And that's why there's two lines visible here and why I'm rubbing one of them out. I cut this piece into two sections on the bandsaw so that I could glue up the two pieces. I thought about adding biscuit joints here but I figured with 2 inches of thickness and gluing side grain to side grain that it should be plenty strong enough without. I used two bar clamps and then added a third to the top in the centre. 